Hello, I'm Gina Harris, and welcome back to another Soul Food and Grace Moment. So happy to share this space with you guys today. Today's message is one of my favorite verses, you guys. It is on Isaiah 55 11, which I am reading from the New King James Version. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. And you guys, sometimes this is a, a part in, you know, that requires a lot of faith. I'm just going to say that because, you know, holding on to God's promises sometimes are not always easy, especially when what is in your uh, reality is not what, you know, it, it doesn't look like things are lining up. Let's just say it like that, right? But when God says that his word will not return to him void, we know that he has an intention for his word. And God gave his words to us through the Bible. Every word he gave humanity is purposeful and was given for a reason, on purpose for a purpose. And God's word brings forth life, which um, I'm going to share John 6, 63, which says, it is the spirit who gives life the flesh profits nothing the words that i speak to you are spirit and they are life through his word we know that god loves us and that jesus died to free us from sin and death and we also learn how to live in light of those truths god's word will always accomplish what he desires whether it is through teaching correcting, training, leading us to him, or revealing our sin. God is a sovereign God, you guys, and we know this. And the promise is that God's word will accomplish what he wants it to. And this is where sometimes it gets hard, um, you know, because it's not necessarily what we always want. Um, and we may share scripture with an intention of helping someone, right? So I'm thinking I'm being placed, it, it's being placed on my heart. Like sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll share scripture, we'll be given something that, you know, God has put on our heart to share. And maybe you, you know, share the verse with the intention um, that maybe it will change their heart, right? And, and maybe it doesn't change their heart or their mind. Um, and we can, we can be left to feeling, well, does that mean that God's word was void? No, it doesn't. And I've actually prayed very specifically about this and, and the Lord put it on my spirit. No, it doesn't. But you know, God said to me, you might have personal goals there. And that's different from the goals that I have. And what I do know is God's word will always prosper. And it might look differently than what we intend. Um, and, and definitely, I'm going to say, if God puts something on your heart, like I'm saying, like a scripture, and you feel led to sharing it with someone, it's, it's in those human expectations where we're like, oh, but I hope they really see what God is showing me. You know, um, but that might not be what God has planned to manifest in their you know, their vision, you're getting something even from God when he gives you something to share. Do you realize that? It's kind of like a double edge um, thing happening there. One for you, um, because you grow as he's growing you. As I mean, you grow as you're, um, you know, helping spread, spread the word as well. So that's always so awesome to really see. When God placed that on my heart, I was like, oh, yes, that's what you mean your word will not come back void because it will set out to accomplish even if it takes longer or even if it's done in a way that we just humanly cannot possibly conceive, which is usually the way. Um, but that that's just, I, I just think that's so comforting. So God's word will always prosper. God will succeed and those who receive his word will be overcomers as well. Did you hear that though? Those who receive his word. Those who receive his word will be overcomers as well. So 1 John 5, 4 that says, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. 
Ah, oh, that's so awesome. I hope you guys got a lot of really good stuff for your day today. I do believe you are hearing this on purpose. So um, this message is definitely for you. Place your hands over your heart. Let's claim this power statement today for all of us in our journeys today. I choose thoughts that make me feel good and inspired. Amen, amen. One more time. I choose thoughts that make me feel good and inspired. I love you guys. Uh, be blessed. And if God places it on your heart to share this message, um, please do so. I love you and we'll see you again tomorrow.